Hey you guys, so I'm back at the game, another advice video and I'm just really out here at the park and I'm journaling and I've been journaling about like what has October brought me. As you know, I don't know if I said it on my TikTok or my Instagram, but I'm doing a 13 days of silence. This is actually day two of the 13 days of silence and 13 days of silence is actually for I don't I sigh because I'm just like such an awakening moment has been happening so much so much of a relief so much of this this honoring my past self but also stepping into this new self and as I'm stepping into this new self I want my old self to know I'm thankful for what it has done to get me to this point in my life if you know you know you know in the 13 days of silence like I say 13 is the death card it's really an honoring of the death that I'm having within myself to to continue and to further grow myself into this new phase because I'm stepping into this new phase but as you go into a new phase you have to leave one behind and I want to honor this phase of my life and I'm for me personally spirit has been telling me I need to buy a scrapbook and I need to get photos of all the <laughs> stages of my life I have went through and at as that it's a way of honoring myself and I feel like I want to keep that until the day I die so I can give it to my kids and so they can see my lifestyle plus the journals that I have and so with each stage of my life they can see like each different stage and everything that I was going through because I, I tend to journal a lot and I journal a lot and I keep my journals I don't burn my journals for the sake of it's it's very powerful if you keep the stuff that you have put your mark on and let your kids see it as a way to honor you as a way to call on you when you do die that's what my spirit's been saying 144 i don't know why i have to say that but i just had to say that for somebody that's just been like mm, how can i leave a memory of myself how can i do this and that's my memory for myself that's my little thing and my ritual that i'm gonna start doing and i hope that my kids do it for their kids and we just can have like journals and just diaries and entries of just i don't know something for ourselves because look i told y'all i'm gonna be a billionaire <laughs> i'm gonna be real famous real big i'm gonna have a legacy and everything the stuff that i want to do the stuff that i'm gonna create is so many things but anyway but since this is, is october 31st i forgot to say happy halloween happy halloween happy halloween folks but i just wanted to come here more on a like personal person talk and i just wanted to talk about like everything that october has brought me because i feel like we talk so so much about the new beginning and we talk so much about what we need to do and we talk so much about the next phase of our journey that we don't even get a time to sit and think <laughs> what it took to get to this next phase in our journey and first of all October it was very much a sit down month for me it was very much of me quitting my job and me just going full time on my business so in doing that I had to break the habit of me being myself and breaking those habits was me actually telling myself like wait I don't have to work every day wait I don't have to um I don't have to stay up all night because I don't I no longer work overnight you know what I'm saying I don't have to make myself do something because if I don't feel like doing it then I just don't need to do it because if I if my whole heart mind body and soul is not into what I'm creating then I'm creating out of lack and I'm creating out of just desperation and that's going to reflect within what I do a lot of the things that I create I create in the day because it's inspiring to me and I have the drive I have the passion I have the vision and I should just create it but not all the time do I have something I want to create and not all the time am I going to have something that I want to create and not all the time should I force myself to create because then I'm creating to make money you know what I'm saying? I'm creating and I'm doing stuff and I'm coaching to make money instead of just to help people. And if my vision, not even my vision, but if my focus is not on helping people, then I don't want to do it. <laughs> Truly, honestly. And you know, October has definitely gotten me out of my shell it's definitely got me to be more confident like if you were following from for a long time on my TikTok, then you know that um and August was my root. That was me grounding myself. That was me really trying to understand who I am. And now I figured it out. I'm who I allow myself to be. That's as simple as I can make it. And that's as broad as I can make it. Because once you label yourself as to something, then you have to be that something forever. And then you're going to forever live out a change of just trying to get out of that habit of you being that one thing that you establish yourself to when that's not the point. You are not who you are not you because of what you do you are you because of you 
if that makes sense and then definitely september was that sacral chakra that was me getting my creativity back when i say i got my creativity back i got my fun i got my spark i got my light back for light i got my light back to working like it, it took a minute to ground myself in who i was but then after i did that now it was just about creating now it was just about having fun now it was just about learning new stuff and creating new stuff and in october was very much that solar place just having confidence and having faith in the mindset that i put for myself and now reflecting that within my business now truly reflecting this love that i have now truly reflecting the faith that i have and belief in that i have not only in self but in spirit too you know if spirit is telling me to go this way then why am i not going this way and i'm going against what he's telling me because i have more faith within this matrix than i do than god you know and i'm thankful for october because october has brought me so much <laughs> so much so much y'all see that butterfly i hope y'all saw it if y'all did not see it and y'all yellow butterfly has been following me around for a lot lately yellow butterflies and bees and you know bees worker bees bees are like community and that means very much of just like having this community having this love having this this support behind you and then that yellow butterfly is just that very abundant time that very much time of you transforming into this next phase of your life which is just success because you have trusted spirit and you have allowed spirit but i feel like there's a phase of your life where you have to be still and you have to understand like wait i need to honor who what it took to get here i need to honor because if i just jump right into the next phase of my life then i really didn't understand why i left that phase and why i had to be new and in october it was me really defining who i was and defining what i had to do to get to this point in my life it was really me just defining me like i already knew who i was but i wasn't firm on who i was so it's me standing firm on the foundation that i have built within myself me actually having to question myself me actually having to be evaluated myself and be like how am I gonna live in a lack mentality when I said I live in an abundant one how am I gonna not pay for this when I just said that I'm abundant how am I going to continue to keep speaking like this even though I said I was abundant so it was really me having to g-check myself and be like come on g now you know you're not supposed to do this first of all why are we fearing this second of all whose fear is this is this yours is this your family is this your ex-friends is this your ex-lovers you know it's really having it's really me having to check myself and be like is this you talking or is this your fears is this your regret is this your other people's perceptions of you it's me actually having to identify my shadow my higher self my um my masculine my feminine side this this <laughs> this phase of my journey was a lot but i loved it i loved every phase of it i love every second of it i love everything that i'm doing <laughs> i love everything that i'm becoming i love i love it 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 but yeah but october has brought me a lot of fulfillment october has brought me a lot of love october has brought me a uh, a butterfly and that's a monarchy butterfly but it looks orange orange where i'm at and you know orange is about creativity and this is just a creative set, creative idea that i wanted to do because i was just like okay why not why not record myself while i'm out in the park and just talk about what i've been through because the people need to know the pinky needs to know pinky's evolution <laughs> okay but yeah i thank you for the freedom I thank you for the fulfillment. I thank you for the love, for the passion, for the creativity, and the sense of self that I have finally gained. I feel October brought me foundation, and it brought me confidence in my foundation. And November will bring me my heart chakra, my heart actually opening up. Because although I am at peace, I want to feel that peace. I want to feel that bliss. I want to feel that fulfillment each and every day. And you know, it's steps that I have to take. It's journeys that I have to go through. It's certain things that I have to do. But hey, I'm going to get there. I'm going to do what I have to do. And I'm happy that you're along on this journey with me. Uh, this is day two of my 13 days of silence. And I just wanted to be like, happy Halloween. And I just wanted to be like, listen, thank you for all that you've done, all that you keep doing, and all that you will be doing. Because October has brought me a lot. So I cannot wait for what November is to bring me. <laughs>